You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Will the John Wick director bring gun food to the Birds of Prey movie? Disney sets a record you'd think they already had. And will Hewan McGregor be reprising his role as Obi-Wan? Hello there. You're watching ETN's weekly entertainment wrap-up. And before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and most importantly, share it around as it helps the channel a great deal. So we start on a sad note, as on Friday, veteran actor Peter Fonda died of respiratory failure as a result from his battle with lung cancer. Fonda was known for playing rebellious roles in the 60s and won his first Oscar in 1968 for Easy Rider, in which he produced and co-wrote. Some younger audiences may recognize him from playing Mephistopheles or Mephisto in the first Ghost Rider movie, as well as his role in 310 to Yuma. You can see his last credited role next year in the sci-fi movie Skate God. Moving over to comics, the sci-fi channel has canceled their DC show Krypton after two seasons. The show followed the grandfather of Kal-El, Seg-El, in his journey to restore honor to the House of El. The show dipped more than 50% in viewership on average, going from 1.8 million viewers in one season to averaging 408,000 viewers in season two. Additionally, the planned Lobo spinoff was also nixed by sci-fi. However, Warner Horizon plans on shopping around the pilot of the show. Over in the MCU, actor Martin Freeman will reportedly be reprising his role as CIA agent Everett Ross for the Black Panther sequel. In an interview with Collider, the actor confirmed it himself saying, As far as I know, I will be returning. As far as I know. I will be in another Black Panther movie, that's my understanding. As to when that will happen, I don't know. The Black Panther 2 movie will not be in theaters for some time, with 2022 being the earliest, so any elements from a story standpoint regarding his role will be unknown for some time. Speaking of the MCU, we know that this has been a great year for Disney. But what many didn't know is that Disney has actually set a record for billion dollar box office movies in a single year with five. In 2019, Toy Story 4, The Lion King, Aladdin, Avengers Endgame, and Captain Marvel have all crossed the billion dollar plateau. Toy Story 4 is also Pixar's fourth animated movie to exceed the billion dollar milestone. So hate him or love him, Disney knows how to entertain audiences. Now shifting over to the DC side of the world, John Wick director Chad Stahelski has been brought on board to design and direct action sequences during the reshoot of Birds of Prey. He will be working side by side with current director Kathy Yan. However, he won't be credited, though it's likely his company, Stunt Film 8711, will be as they've been with the project since the beginning. And finally, it's been reported from nearly all sources in existence that Ewan McGregor will be reprising his role as the iconic Obi-Wan Kenobi. Rumors have been going on for years about an Obi-Wan movie, and fans have been clamoring for one. While it's not officially confirmed, the rumor is that a once-planned feature film has now converted into what would be a Disney Plus show. Disney has been making big plans and a big push for their upcoming stream services, as Marvel has several shows based on their feature films debuting on the stream service in the coming years. Are you excited for an Obi-Wan Disney Plus show? And if so, what is it you hope to see? And that does it for this week's wrap up. As I mentioned, please like and subscribe to the channel, share this video, and come back next week for another episode of ETN's weekly entertainment wrap up. Have a good one.